Have you ever clicked a product link on your phone, but noticed that it only opened in a browser? Wouldn't it be better if it's seamlessly launching the app and taking you straight to that item? If you want that seamless user experience, you need deep links. Hi everyone, I'm Zoe, product manager on the Flutter team, and with me is Hong Yu. Hi, I'm Hong Yu, a software engineer on the Flutter team. We're excited to dive into the world of deep linking in Flutter. Deep links are not just a nice feature, they're the backbone of a successful user-centric mobile experience. And it's not just theory. Companies across industries are seeing the tremendous impact of deep linking. Take these two examples. Boost, a leading Nordic online store, saw a 4.5 times higher conversion rate and double the average order value in their app after implementing deep links. Similarly, British fashion giant Boohoo.com experienced a 5.5 times higher conversion rate and driving a 25% increase in overall revenue. This could be your company story too. In the next part of the talk, we will break down how to achieve these results. We will explore what deep links are and define how deep links actually function, the benefits of deep linking, and deep link validation. My colleague Han Yu will introduce you to our latest tool, the Flutter Deep Link Validator, and demonstrate how to ensure your deep links are configured correctly, saving you time and preventing frustrating user experiences. Let's dive in. So, what are deep links and how do they function? Think of it as a specific address within your app, like a direct route to a product page. It is represented as a URI that contains a scheme, host, and path, so it knows which page to open in an app. There are different types of deep linking mechanisms out there, but we highly recommend you use Universal Link for Apple devices and App Link for Android devices. We've heard that some developers prefer to use custom schemes. However, they're less secure. Without authorization required, Anyone can claim custom schemes and may use them to direct traffic to apps other than yours. Also, someone who clicks on the deep link but doesn't have your app installed will get an error page. So that's why we recommend universal links and app links because they use your website's URL, they're more secure, and they gracefully take users to your website if the app isn't installed yet. Next. I want to share more benefits of having deep links. First, it boosts app traffic. You can use them in a lot of different places, marketing campaigns, emails, SMS, anywhere. Second, deep links let you tailor the app experience based on the link users click. Imagine seamlessly landing on a specific product page, seeing the relevant recommendations, or having your shopping cart pre-filled. This eliminates friction and frustration, keeping users engaged and on track to complete their goals. Last but not least, it drives sales. Deep link users are way more likely to convert. We've seen that users who are directed to apps are twice as likely to make that purchase compared with users who stay on the browser. Okay, now you have enough context. We did a talk at I.O. 2023 to walk you through the various steps of setting up deep links, I actually highly recommend you to take a look at that video, and I'll put a link in the description field below. But we know that setup can still be error prone with all these different configurations on the website, on your iOS and Android app. So this year, we are introducing a new feature, Flutter Deep Linking Validator. We created this validation tool to help developers understand what links are incorrectly configured so Flutter can provide in-the-moment feedback to address these issues. Over to Han Yu to share more details on the tool. Thanks, Zoe. Hello, everyone. I'm here to guide you through validating your Flutter deep link setup. But first, let's refresh our understanding of deep links. A deep link workflow has two key components the web setup and the app setup. The web setup requires you to own a web domain and host specific web files for both Android 
and iOS. This part of setup is focusing on redirecting users from your website to your installed apps. These web files specify the app ID or package name, so no other app can hijack the, the redirect request. That's a web setup. The app setup involves setting project parameters and writing dot code to handle redirects from your websites. The project parameters clarify which web domain can redirect to the app. Our DeepLink validation tool can track both your web setup and app setup at the same time. We currently only support validating Android setup, but iOS is on its way. To successfully set up Android app links, remember these must-haves. Number one, a Flutter application. Your Flutter app should be able to process incoming URLs. Consider using the GoRoute package for routing. Number two, Android manifest file. This file defines the essential information about your app. For deep links, you will define intent filters that specify your web domains and URL paths. Number three, asset links JSON file. This file tells the mobile browser which Android application to open instead of the browser. Host it on a web server with the domain you own. How do we check all this is set up correctly? Enter Flutter DevTools. This powerful suite of tools is your assistant. You can use it with VS Code, Android Studio, or command line. Today, we're talking about the newly added DeepLink validation features. Let's take a tool. First, notice the summary highlighting domain and path check failures. Below that is a table listing validation results. You can view the results by domains, or by paths, or by single URLs. No matter which view you are in, clicking on an entry shows detailed results with a clear instruction on how to fix issues. Check specific domains so you can see all the web-related errors. Similarly, in the path view, clicking an entry for the result of the app checks. I will use some examples and show you how to validate the DeepLink's web setup and the app setup step by step. Now, let's imagine I'm Hannah, a Flutter developer building a fantastic e-commerce app. My product manager has asked me to make sure we convert more sales. So I'm using DeepLinks to attract website visitors to my app. But now my Flutter app has some broken DeepLinks. So things are not going my way. How do I fix them? Time to call in the Flutter DeepLink validator. I will start by entering my Flutter project path. The tool is loading and validating the project now. Hmm, this is the validation result. Oh no, on the top of the screen, the results is showing some domains and path check failures. Let's check the domain failures first. Oh, it looks like my domain has some asset link JSON file related issues. What should I do? Luckily, the fix guide provides a handy generated content snippet to use. I updated the asset JSON file under the related domain. And now let's go back to DevTool and check it again. Those errors are gone. But wait, there is a content type track failure. This means the web server hosting my asset link JSON file returned the file, but with a different content type header. I can see the current content type header from the Chrome console and its text HTML. I will adjust my web server settings according to the instruction. I configured my web server to serve the asset link file with the correct content type header. Application JSON. Back to the dev tool for another track. All domain issues are resolved. What's the next? Oh, I still have some path related issues. So let's move on to the path view and go to this path. Let's see the validation details. Oh, there are some intent filter tracks. What are they? 
The DevTool is saying my intent filter is missing a browse able tag. Let's try to fix them. Time to open my Android manifest file and make edits to the intent filter tags. I'm updating it following the fix guide. After updating the Android manifest file, now let's go back to the DevTool and recheck it. Wow, the issue was resolved. Now I have fixed my deep link issues for both web checks and app checks with the help of Flat DevTool. The app is successfully deep linked. Hannah was able to convert more cells in this app. Wow, congratulations, Hannah. I'm sure your theoretical PM will be very happy about that. Well, that's it for today. Try the new deep linking validator by opening up the dev tool and let us know what you think. As we mentioned earlier, although the current version only supports Android, we do hope to get the iOS version out as soon as possible. We hope you enjoy your deep linking journey with Flutter, and bye now.